Hello and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. We now have a way for users to be able to open up a web browser and go to a website that you designate. This can all be done from within inside your game. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so we'll show a couple methods in this video, but the first and easiest way is to go to standard enemies itch page. And he made a plugin for this that's going to be using text resources. And it's really simple to get started. I have the link in the description below and you'll download it. When it downloads, you'll get something like this and you'll open up in the folder. You'll have a readme. It'll tell you exactly how to import it. But basically what you do is you go to the plugins tab of your project. You select import plugin and then select that PGM export file that the plugin comes with. And then you're going to hit OK. And you're going to go like this. And there is your plugin. There's no parameters to set up. Nothing like that. It's all automatic. The only thing that it does require is you go into your resource tab and you create a text resource and you put in the web page that you want in this text resource. You don't have to set the font, you don't have to set anything like that, it just wants text. And so I'm setting it to uh, my itch page and then we'll go to the objects here. And I have a scene right here where when you uh, hover over this button, if you click on it, it will then react. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, when we click on it, we're gonna go to open the URL. So we're going to add a runtime action of the plugin and we're going to uh, check this on and then we're going to select the resource that we want to do. So the Baz, uh, this itch page right here. And this is really handy because say something changes in your itch page or now you want to do the Steam page instead of the itch page now. Then all you'd have to do is go to your show text resource and change it from here and it would change everywhere in the game that you have it. You won't have to go searching for it or anything like that. So that's really handy. And so now with this in place, we can literally just go and test it. And when I click on this, it should pop open my itch page. And there we go. It's that simple and pretty cool. And now I'll show you the non plugin way. So for now, we'll get rid of this plugin here. We'll go to page three, which is going to be an execute script. And the language for it is this. It's a CC dot system. It's a Coco's 2D type thing. And so in this case, I'll just do Google. This is the kind of template. You can find this on the Discord. It's pinned in the help script and plugins channel. And if you click OK on this and hit play test and we click on it, it's going to pop open the, the Google search. Now, again, the benefit of the plugin, this is just as easy as adding the plugin. Sometimes in, in some cases easier. However, the plugin adds that extra layer of scalability. So you can change this. You don't have to think about where it's at in your objects. You just change it from the text resource. So that was a really smart idea. And so, yeah, hopefully this helps you in some of your projects. If you have any questions, comments below, Discord, Steam forms, we'll get you figured out. And with that said, we'll see you at the next video.